Micah Parsons, okay, on the Vaughn cast. We alluded to it yesterday. We didn't dive in as much as we could have. Here's what happened on the Vaughn cast, brought to you by Bleacher Report with Vaughn Miller, who will be joining us in about one hour or 45 minutes from right now. Can't wait to chat with him about his life as job shadowing Brandon Bean since he got injured. Here's what Micah Parsons in Vaughn Miller chatted about on the Vaughn cast. Is it Hurts or the team? Oh. <sighs> I think it's a little bit of both, man. I think it's, a, <laughs> I think it's, a little, it's, it's system and team. I think it's a little bit of both, man, because they got a great deep, they got a great offensive line, which helps Hurts. Hurts has AJ Brown and Devonta Smith. They got a good running game. I um, mean, Miles Sanders. They scheme that they, they scheme that they have. O line. Yeah. I mean, bro, bro like, it, like. <laughs> <laughs> and this Eagles Cowboys, the Eagles Cowboys coming up, ain't it? <laughs> yeah, it's coming up. I, I'm not, I'm not trying to make no enemies. I, I just like, I well, just love the game so yeah, much. Yeah, I understand it so much that like, I can't. I, I like, I like when things are off. I, I just can't like hold it in. Like I almost got to say you something. Like, you know you're right. They got, they got a great team, great defense. But everyone, everyone has their own opinions. Like, but they got so Jalen Hurts is, MVP. he's good. He's he, good. They got him for the MVP race with Patrick Mahomes. His stats and what he's been doing, what numbers that he's putting up is MVP worthy, just like what Patrick Mahomes doing. So that is obviously, they got a game in two weeks, I think. Yes. That took over the Chris internet Steve? because Micah yeah. Parsons, Ooh. can't wait to watch that. Pump. Yeah. Good game. That's Saturday. Saturday, yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought that's Saturday. when the Saturday game started. <laughs> last Start this year. Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. Last year, I think they did. Let's not forget Vegas Bowl, 2.30 yeah. Eastern. Right. Yep. Can't wait. ABC. Yeah. Going to be a banger. Oregon State, Florida. Hell it's going to yeah. go, but Saturday game they'll play. And obviously, Eagles Cowboys is a big rivalry. I think Sirianni's bought into that. I think the Cowboys buy into that. It's a good thing to have in the NFL big time rivals. So, anytime somebody from one team says something about another team, there's obviously going to be a reaction. And the Eagles drew some, you know, defense from that for their guy, Jalen. But the MVP race, like, it's always going to be a pretty good team around the player, right? I think that's everybody's point. Like, yeah. Hey, yeah, Micah, if you want to be like, you have a pretty good fucking defense around you as well. Mm -hmm. So I think the MVP is always going to come from a good team. Do you, do you appreciate or do you understand where Micah's is coming from for pawning the blame off on that? Do you think it's beef uh, between Micah uh, and Jalen? Or do you think like um, he has a point? No, nah, I, I, I love Micah. He's, you know, he's hell of a football pretty, player. Hell of a football, football player. player. He obviously is outspoken. He speaks his mind, whether it's, you know, Twitter or the podcast or whatever. Fair question, I guess, you know, and you look at the Eagles roster, great roster. But um, the question was coming into the year, can Jalen Hurts, if Jalen Hurts can be a good quarterback, mm -hmm. this team can potentially go. And he's been the best player, I feel like, on the best team this year. And that, that sounds like an MVP to me. It does sound like sports media there, though. You know, Mike does sound a little sports media. Sure. Because it's like Patrick Mahomes. Well, he's got the greatest tight end in fucking history. Right. Uh -huh. He's got Andy Reid call in place. Mm -hmm. He lost Tyreek Hill, and then they got four more faster guys somehow. Not faster than Tyreek Hill, but faster than everybody else in the NFL. That can be said about literally every good team, which is where MVPs come from, right? I, th I think that's where it's at. And Micah, I fucking love him. Just keep talking, do whatever the hell you got to do, keep playing. But I think this particular one, whenever the Philadelphia Eagles got a little defensive about what you said, I think it's fair because I think that could be said about literally any player yeah. in any position at any time. Yeah, for sure, especially when people, like d said, people were taking shots. It hurts, you know, leading up to the season and even early in the season when he was playing well and it was still kind of like, oh, uh, well, you know, <laughs> you, if, if you force him to throw, like this guy can't beat <laughs> yeah. you from the pocket. Yep. And he's just proved time and time again that you can. And I also I think he, you know, like – we talk about Mahomes and stuff like that. It's completely discounting what Jalen Hurts does, like rushing wise, which is just <laughs> unbelievable. Like Mahomes can escape and and extend plays and yeah. stuff like that, but he can't kill you with his legs the way Jalen Hurts can. He's he's got the Josh Allen power if he needs to. Oh yeah, it's good. he can back move. Back to, even in Oklahoma, he had twenty rushing touchdowns his uh, senior year okay. um, in Oklahoma, and then ten rushing touchdowns back to back uh, in the league so he can be the best runner on the field any given Sunday and obviously he's developing week in week out as a passer uh, but I, I like this though you know it's divisional Hell obviously yeah. Michael Hell we yeah. expect him to be a, a great player with the Cowboys for a long time you expect mm -hmm. the same thing for Jalen Hurts so every time and Jalen Hurts you know he's not going to talk you know he's the absolute well exact, he was I, on TV with uh, Ruben <laughs> yeah Mike, 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 Mike Ruben. Ruben. I saw that clip what is any 
Well, they were doing Ruben something good for the I said, okay, it was okay, Meek, gotcha. Jalen, okay. Ruben, uh, Lori. Uh, I think they're all doing something great for the community. Yeah, okay. mm-hmm. I that's assume that's why they were doing media uh-huh. or whatever. I assume that was the case. I just saw Ruben just sitting in there. I didn't, yeah, there's know. a couple of clips he's just sitting there. It happens yeah. with AJ every once in a while. AJ would just be sitting there. And, <laughs> yeah. you know, I mean, that, that's going to happen on TV yep. with people, especially whenever clips are together. Ruben's saving the world. That's yeah. right. Love so him. Slow Friend down of the show. Buddy. Love him. Friend of the program. Yeah. yeah. Love him. Friend of the program. Man. Oh, you just got done with a lunch meeting. And he's like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, 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 hey, locked up Meek Mill, too. Yeah, yeah he got, did. Be, got beat on the route, mm-hmm. recovered, got a PBU, might be watching everything DB, man. Shout out to Ruben. Yeah, shout out to Ruben. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Meek also, Mill. I don't know how old he is. He was wide open. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, hamstrings could have blown. Like, that's the first thing I think when people start going wide open. I'm like, when was the last time they ran? Because those hammies aren't like. Hey, we got uh, muscle memory. We'll just be here forever for you. If you don't use them, mm. you'll lose them. Oh, go. Right. And Ruben's fucking 50 years old, striding out on Meek Ooh. Mill like that. You saw the uh, Meek Mill's cut, too. You see where his heart and yeah. body were and where his leg was? That could be a weapon he figures out how to nah, use that. That's right. When you're talking to Micah on the Vaughn cast, you know, and he drops that Jalen Hurts uh, line, and you go, <laughs> The team, like you actually even, you were like kind of taken back by it. While you're having that dialogue, what are your immediate thoughts? And did you know that the entire world was going to react to it in the moment? No, I, you know, I didn't. And I try to keep, you know, especially I'm, you know, starting the Voncast. You know, I'm an athlete and I'm doing a podcast. I don't, I don't like, yes. you know, the hot takes. I, I never try to put, I never try to steer like my guests in that direction. Um, I feel like if, if, you know, our segment goes viral, it should just go viral just because it's me and you talking. So I do a really good job of, like, talking to the guys before, um, you know, we get on camera. And I tell them exactly what we're talking about on these cars, exactly what I'm talking to you about, you know, before the show. I'm not going to get off. The, these are the questions that I'm going to ask. I might, like, um, expand on some of these questions, but I'm not going to come out of left field with a question and not give you time to think about it. So we can kind of, you know, stay away from the hot takes. And, Smart. You know, I did that, I did that with Micah. You know, and I, that's when I, that's, I like for people to do that with me whenever I go on that show, because I don't like to be blindsided. So oh, I did no. that with Michael twice. We, do we get on the show, we start talking, <laughs> and, um, you know, we're staying right on, on cue with all the talking points that we had. And then all of a sudden, Micah asked me a question, and Michael was like, so is it Jalen Hurts or the team? And I'm like, whoa. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, man, you just put me on? in a hot take spot on my show. <laughs> this is supposed to be a non hot take spot. Hell? You just put me in a position here all of a sudden. Yeah, he just, he just put it on me. And I was like, you know, I was kind of taken back and I was trying to think about, you know, the next, you know, to try to like, you know, um, you know, to try to, you know, keep it down. I tried to come up and he just kept going with it. I was like, man, you know, I, you know, Jalen Hurts, Jalen Hurts is a great quarterback. You know, he's in the running for MVP and I'm, I'm, you know, whenever I'm talking about guys, I would rather love up on guys instead of, like, create, yes. like, you know, I, even if it's not true, I would rather just still try to, like, stay on this side of it. Hey, it's hard to make it to the NFL, Vaughn. It's hard to make – people forget how hard it is to make it to the NFL, and then people get on TV and they, like, bury somebody. And once a former player, I think the current players – and I, I try to remind myself of this while I was playing for whenever I inevitably did this. The current players are like, motherfucker, you know, like, hey. 100%. We got a lot of shit going on, man. There's a lot of stuff that we have to deal with on a day-to-day. So I think, like – I think you're in the right vein there, and I appreciate it. I think everybody else does as well, but I guess there's sometimes where the person you're talking to, they're like, hey, I'm fucking yeah, cool Micah, with it. Hey, I'm cool Micah with it. Is, Micah, is just, Micah is just so different. Like, he's so different, and if you take, a, if yeah. you take his Twitter account and the things that he says, he's going to speak his mind. He's going to speak yeah. his truth, and he's a, he's a great player. Like, he's not worried about Shit. bulletin board material, getting these guys going or not. He's going to go out there and play his game, and they play him next week. So it's, it'll be a great game to watch, you know, kill, uh, Cowboys. Eagles, you know, at Cowboy Stadium, Christmas Eve, you know, it's fuel on the fire, man. It's a lot running on it's a lot running on that game. You know, it'll be a good game to watch come Christmas Eve next week. I like him being himself. However, I like the confidence that he already has in himself mm-hmm. because he should, because of how fucking good he is at football. Mm-hmm. What do you think about him as a football player? You guys have a good relationship? Are you guys doing the pass rush you stuff together? I assume you are. He is, hey, he's a freak. Hey, you, you and him, when you're talking about like physical specimens, mm-hmm. just being able to, you guys are like almost in the same world with that. You probably can only have conversations with each other that not a lot of other people can have. Have you experienced that with him? Yeah, it was it was really, really cool, man. And, um, you know, I enjoy talking to Micah. Um, you know, I... I don't like I don't like comparisons or anything like that. But the, when he talks about pass rush, and he explains what he's looking at, like I, like I'm I think about the same stuff. Like I see myself, you know, I see my mindset in him, and, and he sees his mindset in me. And it's just so cool to be, you know, ten years apart, and you see a guy that's so talented and so young, man. And 
his agent Dave uh, Mugaletta, like I'm super cool with Dave. I've been knowing Dave my I've been knowing Dave Mugaletta my whole career, my whole twelve oh, years. I knew him even before I came in the league, thirteen years. So, you know, he always talked about Micah and how cool he was, man. And when we had our conversations, man, it just it just hit right away, man. I, I love Michael Parsons, man. I'm a huge fan of Michael Parsons, his game, his game on and off the football field, man. I'm a fan of his mindset, man. Michael is he's the truth, man. And when like I said on on my show, when it comes time to to pay Michael Parsons, he's gonna have to get his own team, man. That's gonna be the the Arlington Michael Parsons for sure, man. He is a, he's an incredible talent, man, and I'm I enjoy watching him week by week. Game changer, quick yeah, in the NFL yeah. whenever he arrived. Game changer, quick Sweet. immediately upon getting there. Tone has a follow up there. I, I do because Mike is the favorite to win Defensive Player of the Year, followed by Bosa and Judon, who are leading the league in sacks. I believe with 16 and a half, and I think Micah has 12. Do you think it's important for an edge rusher to win Defensive Player of the Year to lead the league in sacks, or does that not matter? Is it the whole game? Um, you know, I, I, I'm a fr- I'm Is an it Micah fr- or the team, too? Oh. Also, <laughs> is it Micah or the team, too? <laughs> I mean, if you look at if you look at we can we can talk about that for a second. If you look at the Dallas Cowboys defense before Micah got there, they were competitive. You know, they had Demarcus Lawrence, and they were competitive before he got there. But a little drop of Micah Parsons, and it just it just takes off like in their top five, their top five defense with one player. So, you know, I think it's a little bit of both with the Cowboys as well with the Cowboys defense. But Michael Parsons is just out of this world, man. And um, I'm a firm believer in winning the sack title and defensive player of the year. They just go hand in hand. Ooh. You know, they just go hand in hand. If you can lead the league in sacks, they go hand in hand. Um, you know, obviously that's not the case, uh, you know, each and every year. You know, if you got a guy that's uh, causing forced fumbles and, you know, he's Scoring touchdowns, you know, I think a couple of touchdowns can, you know, take a little bit of sacks off, off the top sack, of it, yeah. man. You scoring mm-hmm. touchdowns, you're getting sack force fumbles, man. You you are making big plays, run plays, and Micah's doing all of this stuff, man. He's my favorite to win defensive player of the year for, for sure. A lot of great defensive players this year. Yeah. Five-year low in points being scored, Vaughn. Mm-hmm. Uh, as of like a month ago, we saw that research. It's sad. It makes sense.